Okay, so we are looking at diagonalization, and we were in the diagonalization section of diagonalization, and we're about to do we did some examples of diagonalization, and I think we're about to do an example of applying diagonalization. For example, applying diagonalization, applying it to solving a differential equation. Okay. Uh, so it's just now an actual comp another example of what we what we did sort of did in the opening of this section on diagonalization. Or we did a motivating thing example. Uh, no, that's not it. No, I'm in the wrong place. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, so we did this example. Now we're doing solve the system of differential equations. Okay. So the derivative of x1 in terms of t is x1 plus 2x2 plus 2t. The derivative of x2 in terms of t is minus x1 plus 4x2 plus t. Okay, so first of all, we got to write it as, rewrite it as a matrix. So x now is a vector, so dx dt is this vector. And then we have times x is a, matrix, a vector as well, x1, x2, times by this matrix to get the 1, 1x1 one plus 2x2 in the top row and the minus x1 plus 4x2 in the second row. And then we have 2t and t added on, so you have to add on a little vector there, 2t and t. Okay, now this, the reason this is difficult to solve, of course, is that the derivative of x1 depends on x1 and x2, and the derivative of x2 depends on x1 as well as x2. So we want to sort of uncouple it, that's what it's called, we want to diagonalize this matrix so that we have a new variable depending just new variables where y1, the derivative of y1 just depends on y1, the derivative of y2 just depends on y2, and then we convert back. So first of all, we let x equal py. We know that's equivalent to letting y equal inverse of px, of course. Okay. Uh, where p is the matrix of eigenvectors of a. So I can't remember if we've seen this matrix before. Let's just check that these are really are the eigenvectors. I'm not going to bother with actually finding them from scratch. We've done that for quite a lot of times now. So you multiply that matrix by that first column, 1, 1, um, and you get 3, 3. Okay, so the eigen va eigenvalue is 3. And the other one was 2, 1. You're going to get what, 4 and... Two, right? Minus two plus four, which is two times two one. Eigenvalue is two. Okay. Uh, so we're replacing the x of the py, which of course is equivalent to saying letting y equal inverse of p x. We know the inverse exists because these columns of p are linearly independent. So a is diagonalizable. Okay. So x equals py. So you replace the x there with py. The x there with py. Okay. And uh, now the p can just come out as a constant. Uh, and then you multiply both sides by the inverse of p. And you get dy dt equals now p might inverse p inverse ap. Now that's the diagonalization. So that's d. That's, it's got 3, 2 on the diagonal. And now we've got, to, we've got to multiply p inverse times 2t. We've got to do this multiplication. So we have to work out what p inverse is. So if p is 1, 1, 2, 1, then the inverse of p is what? It's going to be 1 over... Uh, 1 minus 2, so it's going to be a minus, 1 over minus 1, or minus 1, then you want the cofactor matrix, so the cofactor of, of the top left is, yes, is 1, cofactor of the bottom right is 1, cofactor of top right is minus 1, cofactor of bottom left is minus 2, but then you want the transpose of that, so you swap the minus 2 and the minus 1 around. Okay, so that should be the inverse of p. Let's just check it by multiplying it by p. So you're going to get 1 minus 2, and then it's all times by minus. So you're going to get, oh, since it's times by minus, let's just do this time thing. So you can do minus, minus, and then that becomes a plus. That becomes a plus. Okay. Okay, so we do minus 1 plus 2 is 1, uh, minus 2 plus 2 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 minus 1 is 1. Yes, so that is indeed the inverse. 
okay? So we want to multiply that inverse by, that P inverse by 2T times T. Okay, so what do we get? We get minus 2T plus 2T, it's 0, and 2T minus T, which is T. Okay. So we now have the 0T, yep, yeah, and we have the D there. Remember, of course, because the eigenvalues were 3 and 2, the D is 3, 2 on the diagonal, and 0 is off the diagonal. Now, so we've now successfully decoupled the differential equation. So we have y1 dash equals 3y1, y2 dash equals 2y2 plus t. So we need to solve these, right? OK, so this one is easy to solve. Straightforward solve, it's e to the 3t. This one is slightly more complicated. You're going to need integrating factor. Uh, yes, it's the one where you use the integrating factor of e to the integral of blah, blah, blah. But I can never remember that what the integrating factor is, so I sort of work, end up working out from first principles each time. So let me show you how I do that. So we're trying to solve this. We're solving of y2 dash equals 2y2 plus t. So what we should do is we should put the y's, 2's on one side of the equation. OK. Now, we want to change the left-hand side so it becomes the result of using a product rule. So we've got y2 dash there, and the, we've got and this side has a minus 2 and a y2. So that minus y2, that must be the result of differentiating something, OK? Something that, OK? So how do you get the minus 2 down? Well, you can use e to the minus 2t, right? That's going to bring down a minus 2. So if we do that, e to the, oops, e to the minus 2t, y2 dash. So it's always going to be something like e to the something. Um, and then e to the minus 2t times t. OK, now that left-hand side, that is just the result of applying the product rule to differentiate this, right? Differentiate just the y2, differentiate the e to the minus 2t, and you get minus e to the minus 2t. Yes. OK. So we have this. Oh, I'll write the t on that side. It's more normal to do that. And now we just integrate both sides in terms of t. So you have e to the minus 2t y2 equals, so you want to integrate t e to the minus 2t in terms of t. Uh, that's not such a nice thing to integrate, uh, but let's, let's go ahead and do it. Um, so you're going to need integration by parts, I guess. So e to the minus 2t y2 equals, so we can make u can be t, du will then be dt, dv could be e to the minus 2t, and then v will thus be minus a half e to the minus 2t, right? Okay, so u times v is minus a half t e to the minus 2t minus the integral of v du, so that's going to be plus half integral of e to the minus 2t du is dt. Okay, that's what we get there. And now we can do this uh, This thing now is easier to integrate. So half integral of half e to the minus 2t is going to be a quarter, actually, minus a quarter, e to the minus 2t. OK. Um, and plus a constant, actually. Right? Yes, plus a constant. So um, I can see that they've called the constant beta, so I'm going to call it, just call it beta as well. OK. So that's constant integration. Now we want to solve for y2, so we can multiply both sides by e to the 2t. We're going to get y2 equals minus a half t minus a quarter plus b e to the minus 2t. Is that what they have? b e to the minus 2t minus a half t minus a quarter. Yes. OK. So those are the two solutions of those two things. Now, we remember that x equals py, so we put the y here. This is p. p times y gives you the x. So you do the multiplication. You're going to get, what, 1 times that plus 2 times the second one. So you know, 2 e to the 2b e to the 2t minus oh, t minus a half, and then 1, 1. You're going to get that. Uh, yeah, just once. But now look. Um, let me just clear this. We can group this in a nicer way. 
Okay, so I'm going to put the x like this as a vector again. Then I'm going to take terms with the alpha in it. Okay, that becomes what? It becomes 1, 1, e to the 3t. Now we'll take the term with the beta in it. That's going to be 2, 1, e to the 2t. And now we have at the end of it we have a plus, um, okay, plus minus t minus a half and minus a half t minus a quarter. Okay. So this is the first eigenvalue vector, this is the second eigenvector. This is the first eigenvalue, that's the second eigenvalue. Okay, so that bit's that bit's uh it's clear where that comes from. What about this bit? Where, oh sorry. Where does this bit come from? What's this how how can we relate this bit to the the, the uh, various objects we have defined so far? Okay, well we started out with 2t plus 2t, 2t, 2t t there, right? And notice this is twice of that. I notice that that's twice of that. So maybe I can write this as a multiplication of something by 2t. t, okay. Um, what could I multiply it by? No, that's that, is that going to work? It's not going to work because there's a half there. Two t t. Maybe the two one comes from the fact that it's that it's um, that one of the eigenvectors is two one. The eigenvectors were two one and one one. But where would the one one come from? Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let me think. We think about this. Um, so here, the y equals it equals no, the y dash. Sorry, equals what? Uh, equals three two zero zero times y plus, yeah, oh, sorry, I'm just, I don't know why, I'm just rewriting this equation again, oops, this, oh, sorry, rewriting this equation, okay, and we solve that equation, and you get, okay, do you know what, let me, as an intermediate step, let me write this, oh, sorry, let me write, this in vector in vector form, okay. So that saying that that thing is saying that y y equals what it equals alpha one zero e to the three t plus beta 0, 1, e to the 2t, I want more space, sorry. It's saying that y is alpha 1, 0, e to the 3t, plus beta 0, 1, e to the 2t, and then we have minus a half, minus a quarter, so let's ha maybe it has something to do with the 0t, okay, no, hmm. So you have minus a half. So there's nothing in the top one, and the bottom one is a zero t. I mean, so we could try. Hmm. You have minus a half t minus a quarter. Okay. Okay, 
I, I want it to have something to do with either the, this 0t vector or this 2t t vector, which is the inverse of p times 2t t. Um, so if I look here, I have 0t equals inverse of p times 2t t. So that also means I would have p times 0t equals 2t t. t. Okay. Where can I where can I get the minus quarter from? Where can I get where can I get this minus quarter from? In terms of the original objects of the equation. Okay. I'm not I think I'm not gonna be able to work this out. I think I'm gonna have to look at a more general case and come back to it. So this bit is fine. This bit would be there if, and this bit would this would, be, would this would be all there was if there wasn't for this thing over here, right? This zero one. Okay. Okay. Well, well actually, we start let's start off like this. Actually, I can definitely say that this bit comes from. Uh, is it yes from p multiplied by zero and minus a half t minus a quarter, right? That's certainly the case. Okay. So now the question is where do we get the minus half t minus a quarter from? Okay. We want to somehow get the minus half t minus quarter. We want to ultimately get it from somehow from this, from this two t t thing, right? Now how is that going to happen? So when we split it up, it's it's like it's um, zero and minus a half times t plus zero and minus a quarter, okay, which is the same as, for example, as a quarter times zero and minus two, that t, plus zero and minus one, okay. Where does 0 minus 2 and 0 minus 1 come from? I can't see where they would come from. Okay, yes. So I think to investigate this further, I'm not making any progress with this example with just numbers. So I think I'm going to have to, if I want to figure out a way of getting this without actually doing this working out, right, in the same way that I can write down these without doing working out, because I just find the eigenvectors and the eigenvalues, and then I don't actually go through this process. I just write down this part. I want to be a find a way of see if there is a way indeed of writing down this part without going through this work. I think I'm going to need to make look at a more general example. I mean, I'm going to have to I think replace these numbers, or at least these numbers, um, with variables. Just try and understand better where how these how this thing percolates through here and ends up giving you this extra bit. So I will do that in another video. Okay.